person. So I like to um, understand, like, we all speak with a parent. And what is it like to be a parent of a person with disability? And how does you create the sensitivity? And how has it been as a journey as a mother? He was just going to be our child and treat him like our older son. And we gave him every opportunity. We took him on every holiday, every outing, every restaurant. We never said, oh, maybe he can't do this. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. He just went with us and we've just done that from day one. He's 22 today. He has good days. He has bad days. He's wicked as hell, if I could use that term. Naughty. His teachers are sitting right here who can say that. But we never, ever thought we would make any difference in his life. So we you're naughty, huh? You, uh, you're naughty and uh, uh, with, your, with your mom and your friends. Well, he may not answer because, you know, he's a little shy. But, I mean, he's done things like really naughty. He's angry with our helper. So he locked her outside and locked all the doors. So the guard from the from downstairs had to tell us. I said, what did she do? He says, I told her, let's go and play. And she said, no, I'm busy. Right. So he... I was just about to ask, like, um, you know, how did you actually assist him to be in this world? So we decided from the beginning, and we had a lot of family support, that we would do everything in our ability to help him. If it was early intervention, we were living overseas for 25 odd years. And we decided to come back when he turned 18, or just short of 18, because India was a country where we wanted to live. And he needed to come and be in touch with who he is. You know, we couldn't, we lived in the Middle East, we lived in Australia, all very well. Wonderful life, but he needed to come and understand this is his country, this is where he needs to live. And we then got introduced, we first thought we'd put him into Vasant Valley, he was too old, and we went to Pallavanjali, which is where Nikhil's now at the institute. And I can't tell you, it has transformed him. Yeah. He's become independent, he spends nights out, he goes on holidays, he does it all. He plays tennis, he swims, he gets disciplined like any other child. He routinely gets disciplined. There's no, oh, let it be, you know, usko pata nahi. There's no, no pata nahi. He knows. And I, and he has to be aware that what is right and what is wrong. Right. So that is our journey. But I wanted to actually ask a question to you um, on, and, and similar to what I asked Tabanna, or Dhanya asked uh, Tabanna about perceptions and battling perceptions and stereotype and stigma. As a parent, I mean, how do you deal with it? So now you've touched a really raw nerve, okay? So Nikhil is very chatty with friends, but is a little shy sure. in a public space. What I find so difficult, I can deal with anything, I can fight any battle. But you know, when children lock like a football field, you know, you have in yeah. a condominium, you have them locked, and make him sit outside. You know, and I think that awareness, when parents send their children down to play, I, we live in a condo, so I can come from only there, is that when you leave him out, he has feelings. He comes home with tears. I, that is my toughest battle, is how do I overcome, how do I explain to him that they don't want to play with you? Because that's what it is. They don't want to play with you because maybe he's different. He does look different. And that awareness has to come from deep within our society. It's not all right to say, oh, ho, chalo, isko line mein. let him go in front of the line. No, he, there has to be, and when they say, oh, there's inclusion, it has to come from deep within every parent to allow that child to be included. There is a parent in our condo who's very kind to him and allows him, but one man is not going to turn the tide. Yes, every drop makes, you know, a difference. Or they'll do things like, you know, throw stones at him and get him agitated. Anybody will get agitated if you're teased. It's not pe peculiar to him, it's to any child. And it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle. In fact, if I didn't have a network of friends, family, fellow parents who were there to calm me down, I don't know. I mean, one day I just decided that, you know, I just need to publish the kind of messages that are going around, like you need to keep out, uh, you know, like if you have a dog who has rabies and he has to be kept out, that kind of message, I still have it. It's a reality check for me to realize that it's not all roses. 
the roses are there like i know mrs chona personally she's family to me she's always said don't worry you can fight this but you can fight every battle but you can't fight when someone is being mean to your child yeah and that i think is very hurtful for a parent